So that is a little intro per usual, but we're going to get right into the tutorial. So I'm going to set my primer using the color Chaser and I'm going to apply that all over the eyelid. This helps me blend the other colors and I just really like this color for that. Next I am using the color Sauced and this is a light brown. And I'm going to apply that on the outer corner and then blending it towards the inside. I'm going to do a lot of blending because I like to do that in between instead of waiting towards the end. Um, so I'm just applying that all over the eyelid and like I said getting my other fluffy brush and just blending that out as I go uh, The next color is cayenne and this is a warm warm brown shade, but it is a little dark It is very very pigmented. I'm applying that the same on the same area that I applied the other shade um, and I'm gonna do the same thing going back and forth and pretty much concentrating a lot of it on the outer corner but blending it towards the inside as well to get it really smooth so I'm just applying a little bit more because I want it a little bit darker and I'm just going to do the same thing going back and forth and then taking my other brush to blend out the edges I also really like the Urban Decay brush that comes with the palette it is helping me so much blend out the edges you're gonna see that throughout the whole tutorial so now I'm taking an eyeshadow brush like a dense eyeshadow brush and applying the eyelid color which is the color in fuego and that is a very dark deep burnt red I kind of describe it just like that um, and I am going to pack it on because I really want that to show up dark I want it to kind of smoke out into the warm brown shade and again you see me using the Urban Decay brush because like I said it really helps me blend out the edges and I'm gonna pack on just a little bit more to deepen it up Now I'm going to move on to the face and I'm using the Lancome La Base Pro which is one of my favorite uh, foundation primers and I'll apply that all over my face and then I'm going to take my Clinique oh no I'm not not yet <laughs> I noticed that I need to blend a little bit more so that's what I'm doing but next I'm gonna take my Clinique foundation and I'm apply little dots all over my face and just use my beauty blender to blend it out Next, I am going to take my erase paste for my under eyes. I love to start off co color correcting my under eyes because they do look a little dark, a little purpley if I just apply my highlighting concealer. So I always use this and I'm just blending it out with the Beauty Blender and then I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape um, on my under eyes to brighten them up. And I only apply just a little bit, mainly on the inner part and then on the highlighting areas. And then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender to blend that out. I don't know why, but I love watching not only myself in like a video, but also like people blending out their concealer. I don't know about you, but I just like to see the difference that it makes and the effect that it gives your face. It just brightens it up so much. I just like watching that part. I don't know why. I also like watching like the baking part, which is what I'm going to do now with my Master Fix by Maybelline and it is a translucent powder. I am testing this one out. I am comparing it to my CoverGirl one. So for sure, I'll have a video on loose powders soon but that's what I'm using in this video and I've used it plenty of times already I'm applying that on the under eyes and on the highlighting areas I don't leave it on for too long so I'm just brushing off the powder already. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just always depends. So now I'm taking the warm brown shade which is low blow and applying that on the lower lash line. I 
And then I'm taking cayenne and doing the same thing just to warm it up a little bit more. Next, I'm going to take my TARDIS eyeliner, and this is double-ended, so it has the liquid eyeliner on one side and then, like, the waterline pencil on the other, and that's what I'm applying on my waterline as well as the top, well, poke my eye, but the top part, what is it called? I don't know what it's called, but you get what I'm saying, the lash line and then the top part right there with the awkward eyes, and I'm just going to do a little wing on my eyes. Which wasn't that easy holding the mirror, so I ended up putting the mirror down and doing the other eye off camera, but there you can get a glimpse of how I did it. So now I'm taking the color Ashes, which is a dark purple color, and applying that on the outer part of my eye to just darken up a little bit, and then I take a flat brush to help me blend that out a little bit more and get a little bit closer to the black eyeliner. So now I'm going to take my number 11 Kiss Lashes and my Duo Glue and apply my falsies. These are pretty much my favorite ones for like an everyday type of look. I didn't want anything too dramatic. The eyes are already dark, but if you do, it does make it for a very pretty smoky look. I'm taking the Tardis Mascara, which has been one of my favorites, especially for my lower lashes. And just putting that on my lower lashes and then coating the top lashes a little bit to blend out with the falsies. So now I'm going to contour my face and I'm using my Lorac contour kit and applying the light color with my Real Techniques brush and I'm going to just apply that everywhere that I usually do contouring. And to blend it out a little bit more I'm using my stipple brush by e.l.f. and just blending out the edges of the contour blush I am gonna use my Becca blush contour not contour my blush palette and just apply that on my cheeks it's just a very toned down like pinkish color um, now I'm taking my glow kit by Anastasia and applying that color on the highest points of my face making sure it's blended out going in little circular motions and I'm taking my contour brush and applying that on the sides of my nose. I didn't get extra color or anything. I just like to use the brush with whatever is remaining on it. And for the lipstick, I'm using a liquid lipstick by Pony Effects, which I got on Mimi Box. And this one's in the color On Fleek. And it's just a nice nude color. It matches a lot of my makeup looks. I've been using it a lot in my videos. And that is the complete lip. I really like it. It's nice. It's like a warm brown. It's not too nude, but not too brown either. And that is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you guys liked it using just the Naked Heat palette. I really like this look. I've always wanted to do a look like this. And I was just very happy to do this tutorial for you. Hopefully you liked it, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!